Hey guys, it's FSC Merrick here, and today's episode is going to be the third class that I wanted to talk about in uh, Helmet Heroes Reborn, and that is the Cowboys class. Uh, as you can see on the screen here, I've got FSD Cowboy, and as I've previously done for the two past two episodes, I have the best gear equipped for Cowboys. Um, so just to get it off the start a bit, I know that there's a lot of viewers who kind of just come to these videos to only kind of want the answers, so I think from now on I'm going to especially for videos like this, I'm just going to put the answer at the beginning and for people that are more interested in knowing exactly why something is something, yeah, I'll carry on explaining that through the video. So, just to say now, Cowboys, for those one first one minute watchers, Cowboys are the best class you could prob probably do for, for Helmet Heroes Reborn. Not only is their range stupidly insane, but it's like they just do an unfair amount of damage. They have the same amount of damage as an archer with fully charged bow. It's it's kind of just a no contest at this point because they pretty much outclass every other class in every other way. So now that we've got settled, I'm going to go on to explain the cowboy class, kind of where it came from in Helmet Heroes as well. And I guess, honestly, I'd like to talk more about my general dislike of the class and how it's more imbalanced to the other classes. But of course, I'll be talking about its good points, even though it doesn't necessarily have any negative points. So I would then like to talk about where exactly Cowboys came from. So if memory serves me correct without looking this up, it was around May 2014 when Cowboys were added. I remember explicitly because it was like pets were added a bit before Cowboys and then they got new pet helmet. It was, I think it was that anyway, I don't know, but it was 2014, around May 2014, the Cowboys were added. And I also remember explicitly so many of the members were frustrated because it didn't, it didn't fit, like, in, like, a medieval setting with, you know, like, I would say, I'd say, like, Helmet Heroes is a bit like D&D in the sense you've got your classes, and, I mean, sure, there might be some kind of, like, gunslinger class, but it just, it doesn't, it, it's, I just don't really, I, ne I never liked Cowboys, I never liked the addition of Cowboys, and I'd never really wanted to be a Cowboy, um, but, for the most part, I think a lot of people just stuck to the class that they wanted to play, rather than caring about the, like, optimal farming. But over time, it kind of grew that Cowboys were very, very broken. Like, the, the shotgun ability, for example, that's still an insane ability. You have to pretty much pump so many points into MP just to use it now, but because of how inflated and disgusting the Helmet Heroes economy is, it's not hard. But... That's enough about Helmet Heroes. <clears throat> Let's go to Helmet Heroes Reborn. So... Like Helmet Heroes, it's still, the, the class does have pretty insane range. Um, it depends on what weapon you're using, and if you know how the arch exactly, like, drops down through distance, you can pretty much kill things for, like, off of ledges, and you can, you know, if you know spawn points, you can kill things. It's, it's honestly, like, it's enjoyable, but it's also, to me, like, a very, it's just a very boring class. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's I have the least fun when I'm playing as a cowboy. Like it, it was more trouble trying to just get through recording this footage of playing one through like level one through twenty, than with any other class I've played. Played sorry, because they do so much damage out of the gate. And in in this video, I actually don't get a lot of loot drops to kind of equip with myself. But it doesn't matter because I'm just standing far away from everything. I think I only die once at some point. But regardless. The damage is higher than an archer, uh, like akin to their fully charged attack, which is again kind of silly. And depending on what weapons we use, you can shoot faster than the advertised rate per minute. So I think I, with the potato gun, you can just spam spacebar to shoot faster than it's advertised, rather than just holding down spacebar. And again, that's really just not fair because it's you can shoot faster than it's advertised, and it's an extremely powerful weapon. It's just silly, but. As opposed to that, if you use the high rate per minute guns, you have to hold it down, but then that gives you the option to just fly down slopes, and you can just quite literally get through the entire map maybe in half the time that every other class can, because no other class has that ability to kind of get that pushback. So I think, though, it's more of a bug, and it's the same with them being able to kill multiple mobs with one bullet like an archer can. It's, it's more of a bug that they can do that, and I really hope it does get patched, even though I keep bringing it up and not getting too much of a response. But... It will be patched, hopefully, eventually. It's just, it's it's kind of like, Cowboys are kind of being favoured in Helmet Heroes Reborn again, it feels like. Their damage output is insane. They don't have a lot of defence, which is very understandable considering they're a long-range class. And they don't really require any MP now. I, I'm worried about mages, because 
mages have like little to no MP. But anyways, it's just it's kind of it's just irritating to see how good they are in the current state of Helmet Heroes Reborn with their insane range and their need to just not actually have to move. Like right here, I'm just sliding down this slope. It's kind of, it looks a bit silly because I've got the uh, footage sped up, but. It's just, it's kind of just frustrating is all. It's, it feels like I, I can't farm against a cowboy because they can traverse the map back and forth faster than I can. So until that's patched, I mean, I guess I hope uh, that changes for the future. But as we go through here, I've got my new weapon now and this basically allows me to one hit everything apart from the red bouncers. But the weapon like jumping up from the uh, starter pistol is just, again, it's insane. Like. I'm not really caring about my defense too much, but I'm trying to pump it higher in case I get a loot drop. Uh, I, I kind of I kind of played this account hoping I'd get like some kind of loot drop to boost up my defense, but I was just very unlucky this time around, so that's no issue, but you know, it happens. But again, like Cowboys, lack of defense, obviously that, that's kind of a good thing because if they had high defense with their existing damage and range, that would be like completely broken. And I absolutely cannot see that like <laughs> can't see that like sticking if that was really it but <sighs> it's just I had I just I want to say that I had least fun playing this it was just so I think the, I, I had more enjoyment when I was uh, around the green plains area because I could kind of run and shoot things but as I got down to the red bouncers cave maybe it's because I've spent maybe like around 100 hours just sitting down there farming on my main account trying to level that up but it's just so you just go for a set pattern back and forth, back and forth. Shoot down this slope, kill this, kill that, shoot down this slope. It's just, it's it's good that you can farm faster, but I just got so, it's like tedious in a way. I can't, it's, it's so hard to put my finger on it. I need to find the specific word maybe after this video. But it just wasn't as fun as the other classes. I felt like I was just playing like, I was like, it's like a greasy cheeker for some reason. Because I was just sitting there and I was just, you know, holding down space, down the slope, kill everything in a second, do the same thing, and it's just... It just wasn't fun. It really... <laughs> I don't know how people can play Cowboy because it sucked all the fun out of it for me. I just didn't enjoy it. Um, obviously, that's just my opinion. I mean, I've... Again, like, I'm probably a bit biased because I've never really liked Cowboys. I've never really felt like they fit in Helmet Heroes Reborn or Helmet Heroes, but... Um, it's just... It's, it is what it is, really. I mean... Some people like the class, others don't. You know, it can't, we can't cater to the whims of one person, so that's completely understandable. But what you can cater to is the interests of the community, who are all kind of explaining how cowboys have been a bit broken this whole time. But instead of kind of addressing this, it's more of a... I guess it feels like silence sometimes, but... I'm sure with Helmet Heroes Reborn, with the feedback of the community, Robbie will make changes that are necessary to Helmet Heroes Reborn. So I'm not... I'm not too worried, but as you can see here, I'm level 14, I believe, 13 or 14, and I've gone down to the Red Bouncer's Cave. Uh, this is actually a rare case of me being immune to, uh, not being immune to them yet. Um, I ended up actually dying once uh, a bit earlier on, a bit later on, but I just kind of felt like if I can already kind of do a decent amount of damage to them, what's the point in me being scared of them? I might as well get the most amount of XP that I can. But I feel like I have rambled a bit about cowboys and my dislike for them, the perks of them. I mean, a lot of the classes are very self-explanatory, but I think de facto, like, the cowboy class is the, the best class. The start might be slow. It's like mage. Like, mage's start is so goddamn slow. Like, I, I think the video would have to be sped up, like, three times to even match the same short length of other videos, because mages have such a slow start, and it's just not really fair. But... It depends on how MP is going to be used, because Robbie says that MP is going to have a very specific function, but Majors use MP to attack, and their base attack is very weak. Like, I'm level 45 with 60 power, and I do less damage than... Actually, I do less damage than this level 20 cowboy with, like, 40 power, which is insane to think about. <laughs> when, when I uh, hit level 20 here, you'll see that I do 12 damage to the red bouncers. I do 10 damage with no MP, and I do about 17 damage with MP. And with MP, it's kind of useless right now because I don't have any real needs to constantly, you know, pump up my MP just to kill red bounces. It's, it's too difficult right now. But I think that's been enough talking. Uh, I think for now, I'm going to just uh, cut off and let the music play. Um, 
I hope you guys do enjoy this video. I would, uh, you know, do this at the end, but I'd rather you kind of just enjoy the music and I guess have something, you know, to watch my gameplay and just to watch the, the grinding. Uh, I know that a lot of people kind of do love seeing, again, like the grinding gameplay. I think I've mentioned this like two times before. So if you want to see me uh, just, you know, with grinding gameplay, just kind of sitting there and grinding for an hour of music in the background, I'm completely happy to do that. Um, but yeah, other than that, I will see you guys in the next video, and I hope you enjoy this video, uh, this music.